Hey guys, so we're gonna jump right in. Of course, I'm going to go in and conceal any darker areas on my face. I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. All colors will be listed down below in the description box if you'd like to know the colors of everything. Then I'm gonna go in with my Black Opal Stick Foundation and I'm gonna place that all over my face. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I have not been feeling this foundation lately and I used it on this day because I was feeling like using it and I don't even really like it anymore. The coverage is awesome, the price is affordable, but the actual wear of this foundation is not good to me anymore. It gets super oily, it transfers, it's just like no bueno. So um, I've already did my eyebrows and everything. Of course off camera I have a full eyebrow tutorial um, you can check it out I'll put it in the description box as well I'm going to actually brush out the concealer underneath my brows with this furless brush these brushes are so good um, they were sent to me by furless and they're amazing I'm just going to place on my eyeshadow primer by Too Faced and just pat that all over my lids this is going to help with creasing and applying our eyeshadows later I'm going to place some translucent powder on top of my eyelids because this will help with blending eyeshadow later as well of course I'm going to use my shadow shields today I've been obsessed with these things because they help out a lot with fallout and all that good stuff I'm going to use this eyeshadow called cabin fever I think by makeup geek and I'm going to use this as my transition color today with my Sigma E40 brush I'm going to place that right below my eyebrow and right above my crease and I'm just gonna blend that out now I'm gonna take this deep plum color using that same Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to place that color on the outer portion of my eye blending it out using like oval motions on the outer part of my eye and dragging some of it into the crease now I'm taking this black eyeshadow and I'm using a tapered blending brush and I'm gonna place that um, in the area right below the area that I put the deep plum color it's kind of hard to explain and I'm just gonna blend it out and I'm dragging the rest of the color into the crease as well now I'm taking this eyeshadow it's called flamethrower by makeup geek and I'm gonna place that all over my lid I usually stop right in the middle of my pupil with this color usually um, but now I'm just gonna take it actually all the way to the end of my eye and just kind of patting it on there. Now I'm gonna take a e.l.f. like I don't know what brush this is called, but it's an e.l.f. brush, and I'm just gonna blend all the lines together so that you don't see any harsh lines or anything. Just making sure everything is blended out. I'm gonna snatch off those shadow shields and go ahead and do my winged eyeliner. I have a full winged eyeliner tutorial if you want an in-depth like tutorial thing. And you guys can check that out. I will leave it in the description box as well. Wing diner is pretty easy. You just have to get used to it and practice. Practice, practice, practice. But I'm going to zoom in real quick because I meant to do this the whole time. I thought it was zoomed in, but it wasn't. And this is how the eyeshadow looks close up as well as the wing liner so now I'm going to go in with my mascara and I'm gonna place that on my eyelashes to prepare for my false lashes and this just helps everything blend together better and I'm just gonna put some eyeliner in the inner portion of my eye and plop on my lashes and today of course I'm using the goddess lashes by Coco lashes they're the bomb.com for my eye shape now I'm going in with my concealer. I'm going to use the NYX concealer and I'm going to place that right underneath my eyes as I always do with the wand that it comes with. And now I'm going to take this LA Pro concealer and I'm going to place it on my hand and then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm going to pat that on my hand and then place that underneath my eyes. I know you're wondering like why is she doing that I do this because sometimes the LA Pro concealer can get kind of dry and kind of hard to blend so I usually put it on my hand to warm up the product first and then apply it underneath my eye it makes everything look a lot smoother and it just makes your job a lot easier so I'm using my beauty blender just to pat the concealer underneath my eyes gently then I go ahead and do the same thing to both eyes 
Now that both eyes are concealed, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder as well as my banana powder mixed together and set my under eye area. This is gonna prevent creasing and help it to look a lot more smoother underneath the eye. Now I'm taking that LA Pro Concealer and going down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And I'm gonna pat that out with that same beauty blender, just blending it out along the way. Now I'm taking some of that translucent powder and putting it on the areas that I just um, highlighted or concealed. Really highlighted, not really concealed. Now I'm going in with my MSF in the color dark and I'm going to put this underneath my eye. This helps so that that powder doesn't look so white underneath there and it helps also with flash photography as well so that you don't look white like when you have a flash on <laughs> so yeah I just do this everywhere that I actually put concealer now I'm gonna take some of that Mac MSF in dark with this awesome furless brush and I'm gonna pat that powder all over my face this is gonna help the cream foundation set in a little bit more and help um, with transferring of the foundation this brush is bomb.com bomb so now I'm going in with this angled brush and my Bobbi Brown bronzer I didn't show it but I use it all the time and I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit going in the hollows of my cheeks and blending it out and I'm gonna take it on my temples as well as on the sides of my forehead just to make everything look a little bit more bronzy and a little bit more chiseled I'm also gonna take that bronzer along my jawline as well. And I'm gonna pinch my brush and kind of contour my nose a little bit because I don't like a really chiseled nose. So now I'm taking this Makeup Geek contour shade and I'm going to put that right below the bronzer. So this is just gonna help me look a little bit more chiseled. I actually like doing this lately. You guys know I don't like a strong contour, but I've been feeling doing it this way. So like bronzer first and then contour so it doesn't look so harsh. And I'm just gonna blend it out with that fluffy angled brush. New highlighter alert, I got the Makeup Geek highlighters and I'm in love. So I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm going to apply that on the high points of my cheekbones with this Anastasia brush and I love it. I am in love. These look so natural in person, not so natural, but like so good in person. They're not chalky on the face, well this color isn't, and they just look like you're glowing. like from within and it's not sitting on top of the skin just bomb I'm in love I'm just gonna blend that out <laughs> and put it on the bridge of my nose a little bit on my cubist belt and a little bit on my chin I was in love I was really impressed really now I'm gonna take my Ofra uh, blush palette and I'm gonna take that same little furless brush that I used to set my face and I'm going to put my blush in between my highlight and my contour now I'm going in with my waterproof eyeliner and I'm going to line the bottom parts of my waterline on my eye. This just helps define my eyes a little bit more. A lot of people have been asking me how I do my bottom lashes with mascara and this is how I do it. I do bend my lash wand like I've said in previous tutorials and it makes it easier to actually grab onto the bottom lashes. So I just do it like this. Look at the difference it makes in your eyes. So like one has bottom lashes, one doesn't. Well, mascara on your bottom lashes. And then I just go ahead and do the other one. It makes a huge difference. Huge. Your eyes like pop a lot more. So now I'm gonna take this rose water and I'm gonna set my face. And this just helps take away the cakiness as well as give you a nice dewy finish. Now I'm going to take my lipsticks that I'm using today, um, Night Moth by MAC, the lip liner. I'm going to place that all around the perimeter of my lips and I do fill them in as well. And now I'm taking Tootsie by Colored Rain and I'm putting that all over my lips. This color is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And that's really it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up this video as well as subscribe to our channel. And you guys have a good one. I will see you in the next video.